Today we're going to cover some streaming related stuff again, and in particular, Touch Portal, the direct number one unsung competitor to the Stream Deck. Yeah, that Stream Deck. The $250 gadget for streamers and content creators that's just a little bit too expensive for most of us to buy. So let's see how they stack up and let's get this Touch Portal thing all set up for you guys. For those of you guys who don't know me yet, my name is Nathan JL and I make content here on YouTube around streaming, beginner tutorials, beginner guides, video game content, and just community development stuff. But you can also find me over on Twitch, so definitely go check out both my channels and subscribe to get more videos like this one if that's the kind of thing that interests you guys. Let me give you guys a quick tour of how I have my touch portal set up. I've got an old tablet laying around, but you can of course use just your cell phone. Uh, that works perfectly fine. This is, I don't know if you can catch that, there we go. This is how I've got mine set up. So I've got my Twitch commands. This is all, these are all Twitch up here. Then we've got Discord, right? This is a soundboard, mute, unmute with the mic. Uh, these are all of my sources or uh, scenes in Streamlabs OBS. Here is a list of a bunch of commands there as well. And then if I click on here, then it takes me to my Spotify list. And the reaction time is like that. All these custom buttons, by the way, um, you can find on nerdordie.com. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can get those. There's like hundreds and hundreds of them for free, and there's multiple different styles of them as well. They look really, really great. Uh, we've got live slash end stream, system volume, game capture, display capture, like sources, everything. I mean, everything is in there that you could possibly need, and it's like there's endless customization. If you're watching this and you're not a streamer, I also plan on actually downloading the DaVinci Resolve uh, key set, like the plugin set, and that'll give me like layover for a bunch of new keys and I can create a new page and um, essentially have full control and increase my productivity while I'm doing video editing in DaVinci Resolve. So really looking forward to that. I'll keep updating you guys how this kind of progresses because this, this is awesome. Like I've wanted a stream deck for so long and uh, just couldn't get myself to pull the trigger on the XL version for 250 euros or something like that. So really, really uh, excited and very happy with this product, like over the moon with this product. So I digress. I've rambled on and on about how my setup works and my review of this product. Um, but let's get your guys set up and then let's go from there. So to get the process started off for you guys, we're going to go over to the Touch Portal website and it should look like this. And essentially you're just going to want to scroll down here. This will give you kind of an overview of everything that it can do and integrated services and the different types of plugins that you can use as you scroll down through here. Uh, just take a mental note and we'll come back to those later. To get started with Touch Portal, super simple steps here. You want to download the PC client for either Windows or Mac. And then you want to download the app on your Android or iOS device from the App Store there. Once both of those are done and set up, you're going to want to open up your Touch Portal PC client and then open up your Touch Portal app on your phone or tablet or iOS device, however you have things set up. I'll give you guys a quick tip. Let's start from the beginning. Um, go to Touch Portal, right click it and run as administrator. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, it runs into kind of this thing with integration where if they're not both run in administrator or both not run in admin, then they can't communicate with each other essentially because they're on different levels of importance for the PC. I always run my Streamlabs OBS as admin so that it gets higher prioritization as far as hardware usage from the PC. So that's why I run my touch portal also in admin. This screen has been modified by me. These buttons here are uh, after effect, but this is essentially without these bottom, bottom four buttons here. This is essentially what it will look like because I'm using Streamlabs OBS. I'm going to show you how to get that set up. Super simple, by the way, if you just click here and we're going to scroll down until we get to the Streamlabs OBS here. And the way that I test if that it's actually connected is to go to scene selection. And then from here, click on the drop down menu and there are all my scenes for uh, Streamlabs OBS. Click on the BRB screen. That's just my be right back screen. If I was to run away to the bathroom uh, while I'm streaming or something happens outside of the office or the studio. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea to uh, label it first. Center aligned, auto size, color, think these up. I like that black as the background. Rounded corner, however you'd like to do that. And then the button image here, I use the nerd or die package. Uh, that's a free download that you can get the non-animated version of the buttons. Let's go to change icon, select it from file. And since we're selecting a scene here, 
I'll just use this Dropbox one. This is my BRB. I don't know why, but let's do that. And then I like to use icon full button size. Hit save and you'll see that a button has popped up here. Uh, if you guys are using OBS as your streaming software, if you go to their website, it will also give you a list of instructions on how to set that up. I personally haven't done it because I don't use OBS, but I've seen a lot of tutorial videos out there. So um, definitely check those out. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Here's the list of all the integrated services and plugins that we combed over earlier. If you want to check those out, check out their website, touch-portal.com. There's a lot of really cool customization here, so definitely go check those out. Just to summarize with you guys a little bit, I hope I didn't lose you there in the setup portion, but at the end of the day, the Touch Portal software, it's free. Uh, and it's really just a, a huge competitor to the Stream Deck um, piece of hardware that Elgato has out there. Of course, it is also a great piece of software. I didn't purchase one because the price just didn't work out for me. Um, as I mentioned before in the video, you can download Touch Portal for free and you can also buy a pro version. I've chose to go with the pro version because for $14.99, it offers so much customization and uh, yeah. But with the free version, you also get all the awesome customization, the plugins and all of the supported softwares. Um, you just don't get as many pages and not as many buttons. With the pro version, of course, you get unlimited pages and unlimited buttons and unlimited customization. Um, but for me, it was worth it to go with the 1499 version. If you guys just wanted to try out the free version to see if it's worth it for you first, that's what I did as well for about two weeks and played around with it and just, uh, I fell in love with it. So I purchased the product for $14.99 and, and like I said, it just looks great. It, it runs fantastic and it does exactly everything I need it to do. And I'm looking forward to learning more about what its potential is. And I hope that you guys can also find some value in this product because it's really just streamlined my life when it comes to streaming and uh, my workflow. So I hope the same for you guys. If you guys had any more questions at all, please leave them in the comments down below if I forgot something, um, or if you wanna come check me out over on Twitch to get some real feedback, uh, some real time response, then come check me out on Twitch. I'll leave a link down below for all that stuff and for all of the resources that were mentioned today in the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and like, that way uh, you can get more videos like this in the future, and I'm really looking forward to uh, making more content for you guys in the future. Again, thanks so much for tuning in and uh, until next time.